Hey guys, what is up? It is SSD Middleman here with Guides for Us All, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the unique weapon survivalist rifle in Fallout New Vegas. So you're going to need to be playing the Honest Hearts DLC and come to this location here called the Red Gate, which is a mountain you're going to have to climb up. Once you go around the mountain, you're going to find a dead guy plus a survivalist duffel bag containing the survivalist rifle in it. Now, this particular rifle once belonged to Randall Clark, an ex-U.S. Army serviceman who found himself hiding out in Zion National Park after the Great War. The rifle was used by the survivalist for decades and shows signs of improved repairs such as clamps on the foregrip wood itself made of mismatched wood furniture. The front sight is also damaged. The rear aperture sight is also missing. Clark apparently couldn't repair it, using it as is. So, it might seem a little weird using the rifle at first, but once you get used to it, this thing is actually really awesome. In terms of in-game performance, the rifle has a very decent rate of fire, relatively low spread, respectable AP cost, and a high damage that can be raised considerably with the grunt perk. The damage is even slightly higher than this machine, loaded with regular 308 rounds if grunt is taken, but the survivalist rifle shoots almost twice as fast and far more accurately. So basically, if you're playing the normal vanilla game with no DLC, you are going to want to roll with this machine. But if you have Honest Hearts, definitely grab the Survivalist Rifle. If you've been using the uh, this machine weapon, you have been missing out because the Survivalist Rifle is just amazing. Definitely recommend taking the Grunt perk with it as well because it just it increases it by tw it increases the damage by 25% and that is a lot with this weapon. So, it does use 12.7 mm rounds that are kind of rare, but you can buy them from vendors and it's pretty easy to waste all the ammunition. So if you're really looking for ammo, just go to the go to one of the gunrunners people and uh, buy the ammo, wait 72 hours, buy the ammo and keep that up and you'll have you'll have more than enough ammo to use after a little bit. So when looking through the iron sights to aim, the forward sight the forward sight is bent out of line with the rear channel on the top of the carrying handle, thus not creating the sight picture when seen using an undamaged service rifle. However, using the upper right side of the bent front sight as your aiming point corrects this, proving as a usable, albeit confusing, solution to this problem. Basically, where you think you're aiming is not where your bullet is going to go. You're going to have to use the upper right side of the bent front sight as your aiming point. Kind of weird, but it's because the survivalist rifle is messed up, and that's just how it's supposed to be. So a star in the circle, similar to that seen on the U.S. flag, is seen above the magazine on the rifle's right side, along with the words, Property of U.S. Government, uh, Captain Carbine, 12.7 millimeter Cal, I don't know, something like that. And above the trigger, the words Long Branch Arsenal, Ontario, U.S. Territory are present. Long Branch is actually found in the southwest end of uh, Toronto, Ontario. Historically, during World War One and Two, a small area further west of Long Branch known as Port Credit manufactures rifles used by the Canadian forces during the war, so this weapon is a little realistic. Uh, so during the advanced scouts quest, White Legs may find the rifle and take it to use, so you'll have to kill them to get your rifle. Uh, nearby NPCs or companions may take the rifle from the bag that it appears in, and if you complete Honest Hearts before retrieving the rifle and an NPC has picked up the rifle, you will not be able to get the rifle, because all the NPCs are gone after you complete the add-on. So, compared to the standard variant, the barrel of the rifle is shorter in length but wider in diameter. This is a correct real-world characteristic, actually, of 12.7mm rounds as opposed to the 5.56 rounds. Also, the French word arrête on one side of the rifle stock, which translates as stop or halt, is paired with stop written in English on the other side of the stock. This, combined with the information from Randall Clark's terminal entries, indicates that this rifle was used during the U.S. occupation of Canada. One more thing, the survivalist rifle was loosely based on the 50 Beowulf AR-15 platform conversion. So, I know that's a lot of stuff to read about, and this rifle has actually more history than most of the unique weapons, but that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more in the future. See you guys next time. Goodbye.